Hello, my mathematicians, and welcome to 2.7% word problems. Our essential question today is, how do I use equivalent ratios to solve percent problems? Go ahead and grab those needed supplies, your writing utensil, math notebook, a growth mindset, and some determination as we tackle today's learning goal, which is, I can use equivalent ratios to solve percent word problems. Let's start with a little bit of review from our last video and talk about what percent means and what it is. Well, we said last time that per means divide and cent means 100, so percent means out of 100. We also said that a percent is a special ratio where the second quantity is 100. So we're going to use equivalent ratios like the one you see here to answer and solve some percent problems. The first ratio is part over whole, and then the second ratio is the one that we used in our last video, percent over 100. This is what we're going to need, and we're going to use and use and use and use. Okay, so here's the problem that we are looking at first. Sam is taking a math test. He has answered 20 questions. The progress bar says he's 10% complete. So how many questions are on the test? So we need to take this question and use it to fill in the parts of that equivalent ratio up there in the top left. So one thing you have to know though is that one of those pieces, part, whole, or percent, one of these will be missing. You will only have two out of the three. The part. What is the part? So we know he answered 20 questions. Was that a part of the test or was that the whole test? Yeah, that was part of the test because he's only 10% complete and the question is how many questions are on the test. So our part is 20. What about the whole? How many questions are on the test? We don't know. That's our unknown. So we're going to call it X. And then last but not least is that percent. That one's real easy to see because there's a percent sign. And so that's 10. We're going to take that and use it to fill in the missing pieces on that equivalent ratio. So the part we said was 20. The whole we said was X. Percent is 10. And then 100 is just 100. That's the one piece that will always be the same. Now we're going to use some cross multiplication or what is sometimes called the butterfly method to figure out what X is. So 10 times X is 10X because we don't know what X is. And 20 times 100 is 2000. So this means 10 times something equals 2000. In order to figure that out, we're going to do the opposite and we're going to divide by 10 on both sides. 10 divided by 10 is 1, so that just is 1x, and 2,000 divided by 10 is 200, so x is 200. Let's take that back to our question here about Sam taking his math test. How many questions are on the test? There are 200 questions on that test. Aren't you glad you're not taking that test? Let's look at another example. Andrew is completing his math homework. He has answered five questions and he's 20% of the way finished. How many questions are on his homework? So this one's very similar, just homework instead of a test now. Remember, one of these pieces, part, whole, or percent, will be missing. All right, what is the part in this one? You got it, it's five questions. That's the part of his homework he has completed. The whole is the unknown. That's what we're trying to figure out. And percent, it says he's 20% of the way through. So we're going to take that information and we're going to plug it in to our equivalent ratios. So the part was 5, the whole was x, we don't know, and the percent is 20. Now we're going to do that beautiful cross multiplication again. 20 times x is 20x, 5 times 100 is 500, 20 times something equals 500. We're going to do the opposite and divide. 20 divided by 20 is 1, which is what we want. 500 divided by 20 will give us x. And in this case, x is 25. Taking that back to our question, how many questions are on the homework? There are 25 questions on the homework. Let's look at another example. And I'm going to tell you, pay close attention. This one will trick you. Bryson already mowed 15 out of 25 lawns. He has to mow this week. 
What percent of lawns does he have left to mow? Well, we know one of these pieces will be missing. What is the part? It's not 15. Because in this problem, 15 is the number of lawns he has already mowed. He's done those. They're done. Check. Mark it off the to-do list. But the question says, how many lawns does he have left to mow? So he needed to mow 25. He has mowed 15. So that means he only has 10 left to mow. Pay attention to what that's asking you. It says how many are left. The whole, this time we have it. How many yards or lawns does he have to mow? 25. The percent is what we don't have because it says what percent of lawns does he have left. So let's take that and fill in our missing pieces. So our part was 10, our whole is 25, our percent is X. And now we're ready for cross multiplication. 25 times X is 25X. 10 times 100 is 1000. We're gonna divide both sides by 25 and X is 40. So in this case, Bryson has 40% of his lawns left to mow. All right, another one. Alandria earned an 85% on her math test. Way to go, Alandria. The whole test had 30 questions. What part of the total amount of questions did she get correct? Again, something's gonna be missing. So we need the part. What part did she answer correct? You got it, that's our unknown. That's what it's asking, we don't know. The whole, how many questions were on the test? 30. And then what did she make? How many did she get right? 85%. So let's use it and fill in our pieces. And then we're going to cross multiply. 100, oops, actually we're gonna do 80 times 30, and then we're gonna do 100 times X, and so those came in a little backwards, but you've done a few, so I bet you get the idea. We're gonna divide both sides by 100, X is 25 and a half, so Alandria answered 25 and a half questions correctly. All right, last one. Henry has already read 120 pages of his book, which has 150 pages total. What percent of the book does he have remaining to read? We know one of these pieces is missing. What is the part? It's not 120. 120 is how many he has already read. But the question is about how much does he have remaining? How much does he have left? So my part is 30. The whole, there's 150 pages in the book, and then percent is my missing piece. Let's go ahead and take it and fill in our pieces. And now we're ready for cross multiplication again. 150 times X is 150X. 30 times 100 is 3,000. Dividing both sides by 150, X is 20. That means that Henry has 20% of his book left to read. Mathematicians, you're ready to go practice on your own now because that is the end of today's video, 2.7% word problems. Hopefully you can now answer our essential question, how do I use equivalent ratios to solve percent problems? Go ahead and give my shout outs to Amy Grosbeck, Amanda Newsom, Bricks and Borders, and Pixel Garden Designs for their amazing fonts and clip arts. Mathematicians, go forth and be amazing.